So now that the designer wisdom is about to cross the 1,000 monthly visitors, updating the website is not as easy as it used to be. But thanks to SiteGround, I'm actually able to create a staging environment where I'm able to design everything, test everything, update all the plugins, and make sure that the website doesn't crash. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set this up in less than 5 minutes. Let's go! So guys, if you have heard anything about WordPress, you know that a lot of people have migrated from WordPress to Webflow, to, Web to Framer, to Wix, you name it, because things break. And that is not news, that's something that has happened for a long time, mainly because there are so many plugins, there are so many ways that you can do things on WordPress, that sometimes plugins may not be compatible with the latest WordPress um, update that you may have, or a plugin may not be compatible with certain plugins and everything can go south. But for us, being able to build this into WordPress was the ideal uh, platform that we needed to make sure that we were able to put all the dots together. And being able to have a staging environment is one of the things that makes Webflow so great, it also makes Framer and Wix and all these different platforms so great. And on my last time using WordPress, which was about six years ago, or maybe more, there was nothing such as staging environments. You either had to create this on localhost and then you had to upload over to your host. And I think that was mainly it. Um, but now with SiteGround, I'm able to create this in less than five minutes. Then I'm able to update everything. We are able to test out layouts. We are able to test out new home pages, new, new blog pages. And once everything is approved, I'm able to go ahead and move it over to the live domain without hurting the experience of my readers. Okay, so when you are on SiteGround, you're going to see this dashboard. You are gonna go over to website. You're going to see all your websites here. You are gonna click on the one that you want to work on. You will click on site tools. And then from here, we're gonna go over to WordPress because you have the app itself installed on your server. And then we're gonna click staging. And on staging, you can see that I created one here because we needed to update some stuff on the actual website. But for now, I'm going to delete it. So you click on the three navigations, then you click on destroy. And now what we want to do is I want to be able to create another version of this. Let's call it sept25 v2. And while this is being processed, one of the things that you have to keep in mind is that whenever you are working with stages, staging copies, um, you may need to make sure that you're currently deleting the old staging environment and creating a new one from your current website. The reason for this is that let's say if you are accepting submission from a form on your current website, so in this case, the designerwisdom.xyz, right? and I don't update or I don't create a new one, a new version of the staging environment, instead I use an old version um, to do any changes and then push over to the live website, what will happen is that all these form submissions, for example, will be overwritten by the old version. So by creating a new staging environment, anytime you need to do this and deleting the old ones, you will make sure that anytime you go from the your staging environment to the full website, you everything will be the same as it was before you did this. So now that this is done, you can see it took what, like a minute to do. Um, this will take longer, of course, if you have like a really, really big website. But for now, you can see that we have our version here. You can see that we never deployed this. So this is really good to know because then you will be able to track everything that you're working on. And the next thing we want to do is just log in into our staging environment. So we'll click there, and as you can see, we have our staging domain that is being created here. Anytime you create a new one, this number goes up. And then once you're here, you will be able to test out everything, make sure that everything looks as it should look like. And once you have QA your entire website or the most important pages that you know that will break. So for example, a lot of this is um, components, right? So I know like once, here looks good, it will look good everywhere else. I'm able to go back here and then I will click on full deploy. 
and you can see that we have full deploy and we have custom deploy custom deploy is for when you do changes that are a lot smaller or maybe you want to just deploy a specific file or something like that but for most of the cases I'm choosing a full deploy and then I'll click confirm here and again this will only take like a minute to two minutes max um, it depends again on the size of your website if you have a really big website you might have to wait like five minutes but the great thing is that right now anyone who is on my current website on the designerwisdom.xyz um, they will continue to be able to experience the website without it showing them a white screen or anything like that and now I can go back to this website and as you can see everything is here nothing broke if anything happened it would have happened on the staging environment and it would have given me enough time to be able to fix it update it test it and then push it live so guys that's it for this video if you are interested in knowing like how to do other things that i am doing on the designer wisdom website whether it's like back end development or design or how i come up with the content please let me know in the comments and i will make another video about it i'll see you again in the next video